region now stand on this stage. Five are about to become semi-finalists. The first contestant moving on from the Americas, Puerto Rico. was a lot. How are you? I'm doing great. I feel like I brought my whole island to Puerto Rico. Aquí en Atlanta. Gracias. Wow. This is amazing. That is. So here's your question. Uh, you work with the life coach to prepare for Miss Universe. Did you learn anything valuable? And what could you just tell me for free? <laughs> I learned many lessons. But one lesson in particular that always resonated with me is that the most revolutionary thing that we can do is just be who we are. And despite our critics, we have to continue dominating our lives with a confident heart and a courageous soul. Thank you, Puerto Rico. The next semi-finalist is... How are you? I'm so excited, so thank you. <laughs> yes, yes, here's your question. All of the women in your family have represented Peru at international pageants. That must be really one good looking family reunion. So did they give you any advice for tonight? Yes, they always told me that I need to follow my heart. Even after participating three times in Miss Peru, look at me, I'm here. My dream is come true. Yeah, I'm so happy. Thank you, Peru. The competition is also not over yet for Dominican Republic. How are you? Well, I won't lie, Steve. I'm a bit cold. I feel like uh, ice cream in a freezer. Well, it, it's, it's cold in here for everybody, but you have an amazing moment. I do, and I think actually that it's going to be a bit heated when the swimsuit competition comes, right? I can't comment on that, but okay. Uh, you brought a pretty unique uh, good luck charm with you here to Atlanta. Tell us about it. Well, it's not with me right now, but it's an upper arm bracelet that goes right here in my left arm. Believe it or not, I achieved it when I was seven years old on my first pageant ever. And my mother made it a bracelet. It was a crown, right? And she made it a bracelet because when I won, I had this big puffy hair. And when I was crowned, the, the, like, the crown couldn't be seen. So she said... She said that she was going to make a bracelet out of the stones of the crown so I could always wear it and it could always feed me. And since then, it's been with me uh, through good moments, bad moments, and it's going to be with me today on the Miss Universe pageant. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Dominican Republic. Our 14th semi-finalist is... Mexico! Well, how are you? Buenas noches, Steve. I'm extremely happy and grateful for all of you being here tonight. I'm so happy. Good. Okay, here's your question. Many contestants are nervous about uh, the final question, but you've said is your favorite part of the competition. Why? Well, you know, Steve, when I was a little girl, my mom used to tell me that I was uh, mother mouth, that I used to talk even when I was asleep. 
but now I speak for a living. I think Miss Universe is one of the most important female lead platforms in the world, and they're not looking for a model, they're looking for a role model. So in this round, I get to speak my mind. In this round, I get to speak my mind, uh, speak with my heart, and try to make a positive impact in the world. Yeah, you heard that. No model, no role model, you heard it. Thank you, Mexico. One spot left from this region. And the contestant about to take one step closer to the crown is... USA! We got it. We got it. Got it. You just wasn't going to let Puerto Rico outdo you, huh? It's all the same. It's all part of the same thing. Well, how are you? I'm good. I just saw my mom. She got my face on a stick, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> all right, here's your question. I hear you spent some time in front of the camera as a TV correspondent. Any tips for me tonight? Yes, yes. So if you get nervous, I would say just take a deep breath. And slow down. If you have notes, make sure you look over your notes beforehand. And most importantly, I usually pin my hair back so it's out of my face, but I don't think you'll have that problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the funniest thing out of her. Girl, you better tell these jokes. You better tell these jokes. I ain't got no hair to pin out my face. <laughs> you ain't got no mustache, so we even. <laughs> Great answer. Thank you very much, USA. Congratulations to our five semifinalists from the Americas. Now, let's check in.